church and those at home, are you ready to worship the Lord? Woo. Let's all arise. Let's all wave our hands left and right and get ready to dance and praise our God. Standing on the promises of Christ my King, true eternal ages let His praises free. I will shout and sing I'm standing on the promises of God Standing on the promises that cannot fail When the howling storms of doubt and fear assail By the living word of God I shall prevail I'm standing on the promises of of Christ the Lord bound to him eternally by love's strong core overcoming daily with the spirit's sword I'm standing on the promises of God standing on the promises I cannot fall listening every moment to the spirit's call resting in my Savior
You have set me free forever It is by your grace and power That you have set me free Oh, you are the way I will worship you all my days Never will I hold back my grace Cause you have set me free Let's all lift our hands and say this prayer together. Dear Father, we lift all our rulers, the Prime Minister, the Mantri Basa, and all those in authority to you. Give them wisdom to lead the country that it may prosper in every area. We praise you for the profuse favor, protection, good health, and wisdom upon all our church and family members giving us a special covering and shelter against all viruses and evil. We believe for running over increase in the businesses of our people. We also believe in the betterment of the country and that our children have a very good future. Thank you for anointing our lead Pastor Joshua and Pastor Kerry with the wisdom to lead this church. Bless and protect them and their family members. Thank you for blessing and anointing all our pastors, leaders, and staff, that they may flow with one heart and vision in our core values and culture. Empower us to experience signs and wonders in our everyday lives. We call in tithes and offerings that your people may shine with great abundance and that we may leave an impact near and far. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's all lift our hands in worship. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like this.
Would like to know more about the Holy Spirit? Head over to the Highlights playlist on our YouTube channel. Hello everyone! Welcome to our service. We are so glad to be able to gather in the sanctuary again. If you'd like to join us for physical service, do book a seat with your Zone Pastor. A Blaze Christmas Derby starts 5th of November. Race against other care groups to finish the most tasks and get the most points to win. How do I know he or she is the one? Young adults, come join us on 17th of November at 9pm. 
we'll be addressing commonly asked questions and also learn how to build better relationships with biblical principles. Follow us on Instagram at freshmanner underscore oasis of care to get a fresh intake of the very word that speaks life and healing to our body and soul. Immense joy to be in the sanctuary again. A big thank you to Pastor Joshua and Pastor Kerry, the Zone Pastors, Oasis team and all the staff who put in so much hard work and effort to prepare the church for physical services. Truly appreciate all your labour of love. His presence, love and anointing was so strongly felt in the sanctuary and what an immense joy and encouragement it was to see everyone again worshipping the Lord in unity and excitement. Thank you for making this place so safe and comfortable. Even with a mask on, I could smell how fresh, pure and fragrant the air in the hall was. Glory to God. Let's through online Kingdom Dynamics. Dear Pastor, Kingdom Dynamics have taught me to acknowledge that I have an inheritance from God because of Jesus Christ. I can still live like heaven on earth and not to miss out God's blessings. I also sense God telling me that I needed to play an active part in my own local cell group and needed to support my local church vision. I learned not to be anxious, have hope and learn to rest in the Lord. Most importantly is to read and embrace the knowledge of God's word and keep living to fulfill my unique destiny. I will be looking forward to attending the next Kingdom series in the future. Thank you and praise the Lord. Amen. Welcome everybody, it's so good to see all of you in the house of God, in the sanctuary, nothing like being in the, his house, because Bible says when two or three are gathered in his name, how much more? When, when that such an amazing body are gathered together, you're going to be blessed. And of course, for those who are watching online, we also welcome you, it's a great joy to come into your home, we believe that uh, God's best for you, and we pray for you every day, that God is going to propel you beyond all the limitations. Psalm 27 says, I ask the Lord for one thing. One thing, what is that one thing? That I live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, the marvel at His goodness. When you come, we're going to be able to marvel on the goodness of God and ask for His guidance. I remember as though that even through the prophetic utterance, even through the message, you could get amazing guidance. In times of trouble, and all the distresses we're facing right now, man, He's going to shelter me and keep me safe in His sanctuary and make me secure on high rock. That means you're going to have our vision enlarged and the, understand clearly the prophetic mandate that God has for each and every one of you. Wonderful Jesus. And uh, for those of you who are not really familiar with the system that's been set up, the sanitizing system that our engineers, uh, experienced group of engineers, they are the chemical engineers, civil engineers, mechanical engineers, uh, assembled together a four-layer Three to four layers of uh, uh, kind of a protection uh, devices, and you will find that they are the uh, UVC and the Acon, the ducting system, UVA and B, not so good, but UVC, the wavelength that we are installing, the engineers have showed us, according to CDC and all the other world authorities, they are very safe and it's concealed in the Acon, uh, Acon ducting, as well as. Uh, uh, the special uh, electronic sterilizing filters, the EAC, in our aircon room. And at the back, there are five to six HEPA filters, the filters that are used in hospitals. So they are more than enough. Uh, under that, on top of that, they're hanging UVC light at a safe distance from us. If you look up behind, you will see the UVC light. Again, the wavelength, particular wavelength, uh, the engineers say it is safe. But of course, ultimately, uh, it's still the Lord. We rest in the Lord. And as you can see, the Bible tells us he will keep me safe in his tabernacle. So our trust uh, is in our God. On top of that, in between the services, our staff are uh, uh, going around sanitizing with the nano spray. We will spray on your seat. So we do our best what we can, but of course, we trust in the Lord. Psalm 27 verse 4 says, I have asked the Lord for one thing, one thing only do I want. <laughs> what is the one thing? Uh, to live in God's house. So that is our desire. I pray that all of us 
We will enjoy the amazing thing that God favors us. Sunday Manor, Isaiah 48. I'm the Lord Joe God who teaches you to profit. Some people thought that the profit is wrong. No, no, no. God said he wants to teach you to profit from his word. who leads you by the way you should go. How many of us know God wants you to enjoy profit? Because it's not just for ourselves. God wants you to enjoy the best. But at the same time, use the best and give the best to his kingdom. Let's pray. Father, we mother, thank you for giving us the uh, promise from your word that you want to guide us, to teach us. Give us the enabling grace and favor to profit with a great purpose. We thank you for the privilege, even right this moment, to be able to give our tonics and offering in Jesus' precious name. Amen. You get to give. If you want to tithe or give an offering during this time, you can do an online transfer to our banks listed here. Alternatively, you can also make transfers via Do It Now by scanning this QR code. We will acknowledge receipt with a special Rama Bible text from Pastor. If you are passing offering to our office, do text our finance team. Left kidney completely healed. I stand on God's promises, which I have learned from both Pastor Joshua and Pastor Kerry after attending many prayer meetings on Thursday. During my last checkup, the doctor found some fluid retention in the kidney. My cell members prayed for me. I just went for fibro checkup and my left kidney is completely healed. Praise the Lord. I really thank Jesus for this miracle and thank my cell members and cell leader who earnestly prayed for me. Amen. How many of you are ready for the Word of God? Let's pray. Father, thank you for this beautiful uh, day in the name of Jesus Christ, rebuke and bind. Every far wicked evil spirit can go from here right now in Jesus' name that your Word may have free course in the midst of us and other people scream. Amen. Last week, uh, we talked about how uh, as we continue our studies of the book of Joshua, exposition. Uh, we found Joshua had a major defeat in chapter 7 and he was down over this Courage, the people were devastated, and they come together in chapter 8 to renew their covenant and vision. In the same way, today, after having gone through the multiple lockdowns <laughs> more than one and a half years, and uh, we facing all kinds of distresses, difficulty, challenges, it's time to renew our vision, the mandate, the prophetic promises that God has for us. Look at uh, Isaiah 8 18. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are signs and wonders in the land, says the Lord Almighty. God wants you to be the signs and wonders. Wonders. The uh, Lord uh, gave me this verse to crystallize the vision, the prophetic mandate that God has for us. You recall last week about worship that comes from deep within. You recall uh, Joshua built the altar of uncut stone without human tools. What can we learn from worship that re-established the covenant? Number one, the altar. Speak of the burnt offering, pointing to Christ's sacrifice for us. Not so much of uh, what we can do, what Christ has done for us. In other words, worship that is Christ-centered. And then it is an altar that's built without human tools, meaning it is not human effort, but God's effort. And Joshua wrote uh, uh, Moses' teaching on uh, the stone for all the people to see. It speaks of worship must be word-based. In other words, the worship that really goes deep down must be based upon God's word, not just human philosophy and thinking. And the next word, the blue, O, O, overflowing abundance. Joshua 8, 33 says, uh, Moses gave instruction to bless the people. How many must know blessing the people are God's command? So, Pastor, so, so you talk about blessing. No choice. As God's servant, we are commanded to talk about blessing. And then the uh, next one we look at is end, new beginning, new sense of identity. That's why Hebrews, uh, Paul tells us, do not stop gathering together, especially in the last day, there are unique distresses and challenges. We need to gather together to get the courage, the encouragement. Today we continue uh, on that renewal of the covenant and how uh, God empowers you, empower the vision that God has given to us and, and to you. And the next word is D, 
E stands for developing movers and shakers from young. Notice, from young, Pastor until when? <laughs> Let me tell you this. There is no retirement age. Only refinement. You remember Caleb was 85 and God says, uh, let him to say to Moses, give me this mountain, no matter how young, how old. And one of the men that God gave us to develop entrepreneurs from young. Don't wait until <laughs> after their school, after their college. No, from young. Joshua 8.33 tells us. All the people were gathered together, men, women and children, Joshua read every command that Moses had given. This Joshua 8 tells us, gather together. God's word for us, men did it for us, gather together. Of course, with all the lockdown, we can't, but whenever we can, gather together. Because it is the opposite of diabolos. Remember the uh, Greek word for God? <laughs> but for God, for the devil, is diabolos, which so means to scatter. Uh, it means to divide, it means to destroy. Ultimately, the reason why the devil wants to scatter is to destroy. So we talked about last week, when we are connected, you're going to be able to function to full capacity. Paul tells us we are like the, a human body. Just imagine you take away the kidney, take away the liver. The body is not going to be able to function well, and the liver will not live for long, just alone. So we need to be connected to function to full capacity, to be connected to be empowered. The Bible says when two or three are gathered together, there he is, his presence is there. How much more when we're all together and connected, we're going to see greater fruitfulness. Like uh, Paul, uh, the ex-apostle, uh, tells us when the people get together in the temple, like in today's context, century, and they get it in home, the care group, man, they see great, great wonders. And the greatest temptation to leave our children behind. That's what Pharaoh told Moses. You can go and worship. Go, go, go. But leave your children behind. Leave your goods behind. In other words, you don't worship God with, together with your children. You don't worship God with your offering. You just leave the goods behind. Uh, Moses replied, no, we are going to take our sons and daughters and our flocks and herd. We must all join together in the uh, festival unto the Lord. You know, it's amazing. Some, <laughs> you can see, you know, some parents, they will be so concerned. Make sure they get the right tuition, make sure the right school, make sure they go to this class, that class. And uh, if they could, same effort to make sure the kids grow up in the grace and the word of God. Because the Bible tells us, don't let anyone despise your youth. So we need to develop the, uh, them to be movers and shakers from young, not after university. And the time developing is now because God has a great future for our young people. Watch this. God told me to tell and to tell the parents is that they have a future in Malaysia. That God will bless them in Malaysia. That he will increase them. That he will multiply them. The youth in Malaysia have a future here. They have a very good future here because God has spoken what he's going to do with his people here in Malaysia. So we are committed to develop the young people in our church with the various ministry that's been set up. For example, the CHAM, the Boys and Girls Brigade, the Energize, the Blaze, YAG. Why? That's where we develop... Not just academic uh, degrees is one of the training, but I'm going to know there's more. Uh, Paul Getty, one of the richest men in the world, he said, I pay more for relationship skills than just academic qualifications. So here in this RLC, we develop the character, the value, the relationship skills. Uh, watch this. My, I'm calling you to bring a revival amongst young people. There's gonna be here a school for creative arts. People are gonna learn how to sing, how to play music, how to do worship, how to dance, how to act, write your own music. And there'll be bands and CDs, DVDs of what I'm doing that'll be distributed through churches around the world to break through in worship. It is to break through in miracle power. Amazing uh, testimony to come out of the young people that are attentive to the Word of God. Watch this. As 
excellent results in studies with God as study partner. Due to the pandemic, most of my classes were shifted online. It had not been easy for me due to internet connections and it also meant less contact time with my classmates and my lecturers. Recently, I have just received my results. Not only did I pass in all of them, but I also scored an average of 90.5% in all of my modules. Praise the Lord! God has graciously granted me excellent results beyond my expectation. Truly, I am the head and not the tail. Thank you, Pastor, for your weekly messages that constantly remind me to keep my focus on God and not on my own self-effort. Notice how he was so attentive to the Word of God. Next, W-O-N-D-E-E -E is Entrepreneur Vision and Mission Empowered. Let's go back to Joshua chapter 8. Half of the people stood in front of Mount Gerizim and half of them in front of Mount Ebal as Moses, the servant of the Lord, had formerly commanded when he gave instructions to bless the people. Then Joshua read all the words of the teachings, the blessings and the curses, exactly as they were written in the book of the teachings. You notice that uh, it's commanded for uh, the leaders to bless the people. And uh, you notice that uh, Joshua read all the words of the teaching of uh, Moses, the, the blessing, of course, the curses. And uh, why? Because as you know, the prophetic mandate, you are going to be propelled uh, beyond uh, don't be ignorant of the prophetic mandate that God has for us. I heard the story of this particular president of a country. I'm sure you know it's a joke. He stood one day and gave a press conference. He said, in two years' time, you've got to land someone on the sun. <laughs> the reporters were laughing. How can you land on the sun? You get burned. The president said, we are not so stupid. We are going to go at night. Another president of another country, neighboring country, heard the news conference. He was laughing himself, summer eight and two. He said, I yo, that president is foolish. There is no sun at night. <laughs> uh, some people, of course, you know it's a joke. Uh, some people, ignorance is astounding. Do not uh, be ignorant of the mandate that God has for us. I'm going to know that Hosea tells us my people are dying. Because of lack of knowledge, a Hebrew word is insight, revelation, vision. Watch this. My son, in a mighty way, release words of encouragement that would cause many to fulfill their destinies. The prophetic words will place a sense of destiny, and many will come, businessmen, doctors, lawyers, and others. They will say, I have tried the ways of the world. They do not work. I have lost my family and what I value most. Teach me the way of the Lord. These mighty pillars that will be raised up will cause other businessmen to see my glory. They will bring in their friends far and near. You will bring them out of darkness into light, and they will see where they have not seen before. You will cause them to walk in great abundance and peace. What is the way that God said, the prophetic man that God has given us here in our RLC to empower the entrepreneurs? Uh, here, Pastor Joseph Brin, many, many years ago. The key is teaching them the ways of God. Now, when I got this prophecy uh, causing the entrepreneurs to abound, I thought the first thing to do is to put together a seminar or management courses. They go to stir the people up. And I believe all these motivational seminars are good. <laughs> uh, better than all the conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theories can paralyze our vision and our business. Years ago... Uh, they, they, uh, there are some people that are so caught up with all the, uh, like today, uh, wow, Christ coming and uh, there's going to be a uh, third world war, going to be an atomic bomb. They built bomb shelters, hiding themselves in. And today the same, with all the conspiracy theory, uh, some of <laughs> people are just hiding themselves. They, they, they're just paralyzed. Uh, so the motivation seminars are great, but in our church, God has called us, the unique thrust is to teach them the ways of God. Because Hamramans know the devil also can bless. You remember? Uh, Jesus was uh, told by the devil, look around all the world. And the devil said, all this is for you. If you just bow down and worship me, 
How many of us know the devil can bless, but there's always a string attached at the expenses of our life and our soul. That's the reason why uh, Pastor Prince mentioned uh, people tried the ways of the world. They, they were devastated. They said, I lost my family and what I value most. No, no, no. God wants you to have good success. All right. Deuteronomy 8, 18. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. I'm sure you know this verse, power to get wealth, and everybody wants to have the power to get wealth. But we forgot to look at the context. The context is verse 16. He fed you in the wilderness with manna that your fathers had not known in order to humble and test you, so that in the end he might cause you to prosper. Wow. How is God going to cause us to prosper? The key is give us the manna, manna in wilderness. Maybe some of you are feeling that you're in the wilderness with all the distresses, COVID-19, etc., the economic repercussion. What is the key? The key is enabling power to get wealth. It is the manna, the word from God, the ways of God. I recall the testimony, I'm sure you heard before, Dr. Cho Korea, when he started his church uh, in Yoedo Island, and uh, the place was so devastated after the Korean War, not one single tree survived. And God called him to plant the church there. And he did everything. He fasted. There was an amazing miracle. There's not much breakthrough. God, I pray and I see miracle healing. But how come I didn't get much result? God said, you didn't preach the full gospel. You preach, I, Jesus died for uh, your sin. But you didn't preach that Jesus also uh, became poor, that uh, we through his poverty might become rich. So he started to preach the full gospel every Sunday, every Bible study. He would talk about how God can prosper given the people, the Rema messages, the Rema prophetic words. And man, that place was amazing. They, they, they became one of the largest churches in the world. And today, a huge percentage of Millionaires and billionaires, because the Rema word from God. Exodus 16 verse 9, they talk about the manna. Then Moses said to them, No one is to keep any of it until morning. However, some of them paid no attention to Moses. They kept part of it until morning, but it was full of maggots and began to smell. How many of us that each day you need fresh uh, supply of that prophetic manna? Uh, you can't keep the... <laughs> Because every day there are unique stress, unique challenges, you need the Rema word. And uh, Exodus 16 tells us they are like coriander seeds. They are small but significant and it releases fragrance and sweetness. You know, sometimes when you read the word, how many of you feel like that? Even I, when I read sometimes, I felt so dry. A bit boring sometimes. Same word again. You know, but... It may be small, it may be insignificant, but it releases fragrance. As you keep on uh, laying hold of that word, uh, so this is why we have the fresh manna every day. Uh, you can load it. If you look up, you see the Instagram uh, uh, as well, that you can uh, actually follow us on our Instagram in the fresh manna. Every day you get the manna in the Instagram. At the same time, also get it from our church app. Manna in picture form. For example, you look up the screen, you will see, like, not shaken, all right? Uh, satisfied with good things, and he is in control. So that's, these are the, the ways of God that he will guide us. And how he raised up entrepreneurs, uh, through the Rema word, and also through fervent intercession. Uh, 3 John 1, 2 says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. You know, John the Apostle prayed for uh, Gaius, the leader of the church, and the church people every day. The same way, uh, you, uh, the Zone Pastor, Pastor Kerry, myself, uh, are also praying every day for you uh, that you're going to prosper in all things. And uh, man, humble must know there's a key way that propel us beyond. Look at uh, Joshua was uh, kind of uh, re-establishing, refreshing the covenant, reading the prophetic promises in two places called Mount Ebar and Mount Gezerim. Gezerim in the Hebrew means cut off. 
And Elba, Eba means barren. How many of you feeling that right now you're like cut off? You feel like you're barren, but it's the word of God. There's going to be like what uh, Pastor Joseph Prince prophesied many, many years ago that the fountain will arise from the house of God and water the valley of Acacia. The valley of Acacia is the driest valley, uh, you may say, in the world, but it's that water, the word of God, the prayer that's going to flow out, and you're going to see great, great. Uh, amazing result and the purpose is that we may fulfill humble so that God raised up entrepreneurs God empowered entrepreneurs that we can fulfill the the most important mandates x20 the most important thing is that I complete my mission the work that the Lord Jesus gave me to tell people the good news about God's grace watch this God revealed new strategies for business Dear Pastor and Pastor Kerry, thank you for your care, love, and for constantly praying for me and my family. Thank you, Pastor Kerry, for supporting me in prayers even when I was a baby in Christ. It has been 31 years in my journey with God who turned me around from a kampung girl to step into IT business world, from a trading company to become one of the top IT distribution companies with seven branches. His word to me in Deuteronomy 28 verse 6, before I stepped into business, has sustained me till today. Whenever there are challenges in my business, these words keep me going and to not give up. With the start of MCO in March and being forced to work from home, I have more time to seek God who revealed new strategies for my business. In June, my sales and profits started to increase and soar. All glory and praise to God. The next one is restoration, which is astounding. In, X, uh, in Joshua chapter 8, you recall how... the. Early on, they were defeated, and God said in Joshua chapter 8, man, all the other cities that you're going to take, the booties, everything is going to be yours. How many must know that is supernatural restoration? That's why Joel said, I will repay you the years the locusts have eaten. How many must know God is the one that repay you? He, you're going to cause it to happen, maybe lost opportunity, lost health, lost relationship. Man, how many months of God will repay you? And uh, lastly, supernatural healing and miracle. Watch it. Yes, in this place will I give my blessings. And in this place, many will come to the abundance of peace and truth. For the word of the Lord will go forth from this place to the four corners of the earth. And many will come and say, come, let us hear the word of the Lord. Many will say of this place, let's go to the miracle place. For this shall be known as the place where miracles of God will explode and take place. So it shall be and it shall flow. And many shall come and many shall see. And many will know the power, the glory and the victory. In this place, this miracle place, for this is the place of my saving grace. For this is the place, say of the Lord, where there's abundance of grace. This is the place, says God where you will see many, many be saved. And many tears will turn to joy. Many sicknesses will turn to health. Many those who are lacking will come and find abundant supply. This is the place. One of the prophetic mandates is for our place here to be a <laughs> miracle place. That is a mandate for us. And, and we learn from the Joshua, even as he was renewing the covenant in Joshua 8 verse 18, how that miracle place is going to be. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Hold out toward Ai the javelin that is in your hand, for into your hand I will deliver the city. So Joshua held out his javelin toward Ai. So what is the key for the victory to Ai? And they're going to be not just that, but unending booties and all the city they're going to take, raising up the javelin, which is a very long spear. It's a picture of, I believe, intercession. I am sure Joshua re recalled the first battle that he has with a people called the Amalekites. And the Hebrew Amalekite means weariness and strife, distresses and challenges. How many of you today are facing all the challenges, distresses in, the, in your relationship, in your business, You're facing endless distresses? I mean, working at home, I find immensely longer hours. But how many of us know the key? 
holding out your javelin. Uh, javelin. And that's what uh, Joshua recalled when I mean, he was battling with the, the Amalekites. What is the key? Well, he is battling, he knows. Two, two, uh, three persons were interceding for him. Moses lifting up hand, and Moses get tired, exhausted. And then you have Aaron, and you have her. Oh, that be sad. The same way, humble must know, you know, sometimes we pray for you. I, I, we find, uh, Pastor Kerry and myself pray for you. We find, oh, yo, <laughs> quite challenging, even uh, tired. But they are staff, like the zone pastors, and uh, uh, holding my hand up, praying for you. Uh, the whole purpose is Joshua get the victory. With the distresses, the Amalekites. Hallelujah. I remember this, though. You people in the marketplace, God is concerned for you. Not just a pastor or pastor. Uh, pastors, uh, God will take care of pastor. But no, no, how many entrepreneurs are also precious in God's eye? And the key is, uh, we are praying for you. And how many of the key way is through intercession and through his word that see the amazing miracle place. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Heavenly Father, that you love us so much. Dear Father, that you love us so much you send your Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. We know we have been completely forgiven, got a new life, new relationship. And today we are refreshing our vision. And we can feel the distresses, challenges of the people. But no, we know, O oh Lord, you cause all things to work together for good. I declare, Lord Jesus, that the prophetic word you've given to me, that as it Years from now, we look back. We know this season is going to be the best season of our life. But help us to rekindle our vision and knowing that you are developing movers and shakers from young and also for all of us because there's no retirement but only refinement. Because you want to empower the entrepreneur's vision and mission because it is a great purpose. The key thing is your manna, manna, which humble us, to seek you, the causes to prosper with the prophetic word and promises, even from the refreshing manna. And you want to restore us with this restoration that is astounding, experiencing supernatural healing. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we all stand? Get rid of your element. And uh, for those who are at home, get rid of your element as well. And sing this beautiful song. Shout to the Lord. And sing it as a prayer. And you see the word wonders here in this song. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days. I want to praise the wonders of your mighty
The Lord Jesus Christ said, "Take and eat. This is my body broken for you." The Lord Jesus Christ said, "This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Pour out for you." For the forgiveness of our young sins. Father, we release the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon all of us here, even right now, and those watching online, uh, brothers and sisters in the Lord or the household, that they wanted to come for some reason they couldn't. We release that special anointing upon them, even right now. Truly, Lord, that you're going to propel us beyond all the limitation, distresses. They're going to see great, 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 great restoration. They're going to empower us, Father. Go beyond in the midst of all the barrenness, cutting off like in Mount Ebal and Gerizim. Lord, we focus on the prophetic promise given to us, and truly, you will dis- destroy the the massacre, the covering over the people all over the world, even right now, with what you've done for us on Calvary. Baraka shalom, baraka. What you saw even right now is just a tip of iceberg. Man, God has great vision for you. No retirement. Only refinement for some of you, and for the young people, God says, "Do not despise your youth." God says, "From young, God will give you those creative ideas. You're going to be truly movers and shakers, and the leader, not the tail." Baraka shalom, barakiria. Shalom, baraka. Yes, I'm going to do new thing in your midst. I'm going to do new thing in your midst. Oh yeah, la. Therefore, follow my way. Follow my way. Follow my way. As you follow my way, you will see the good results. That even, even, uh, you can, even as far more that uh, excel than before. Oh, As you follow my way, you will see the blessing is going to overtake you, overtake you. Ho kuraba salaba hiriya, ho yala mashala mahiriya. Depths be clear in Jesus' name. Depths be clear in Jesus' name. Ho kuraba salaba hiriya, ho. Opportunities, opportunities for big projects. Opportunities for big projects. Expansion, expansion, enlargement. O salama hiriya, yala hiriya. O ya yala ma hiriya, yala ma hiriya. Yes, I'm raising up new entrepreneurs, new entrepreneurs, regardless of age. Do not say that I'm too old for it. But the Lord is raising you up to make a great impact, great impacts. And you see, your your later years is much more fruitful than your early years. Oh, kuraba salaba hidiana. So, so it's not the time to say that it's time for me to retire. But the Lord said for you to launch forth for greater things that the Lord has for you, for greater heights that the Lord has for you. Oh, kuraba salaba hidiana, hidiana, yala ma hidiana, ma it will be super seed that you will have far more abundance, far more success than the past. Ho kura basala ba kura basala ba iriana. Ho niana marani, niana marani, niana la ma iriana marani. Ho even for the young one, for the young ones, do not say that I'm too young. I have no experience. I do not know what to do. But the Lord said, "Let me teach you step." Step. Let me teach you step by step. Since I'm the one that who raised you up, let me teach you the right way, the right path. Oh, kuraba salaba kiriana ba shalama iriana. Oh, ramarani alama iriana alama iriana. The Lord is also raising up Daniel generation to have a great impact. Daniel generations to have great impact. Oh, kuraba salaba kuraba salaba kura. Oh, niya iyalama. 
Shalama Iliana, Lama Iliana, Oh Ramaya Lama Kurama. Great opportunities. Oh, supernatural favor. Supernatural favor in Jesus' name. Oh, Yalama Shalama Iliana. Ora Bara Shalom Baraka. Let's sing this beautiful prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord calls His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord smile on you, release you His favor, prosperity, every areas of your life. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Please be seated and. Love to see you in the refreshing Zoom, and of course, can't wait to catch up with you. Say a brief hello with you uh, at the lobby uh, shortly. Thanks for joining us today. But wait, we'd love to get connected with you. If you are not in a care group yet, come on and join us. In care groups, you get to meet new friends, pray for one another, and learn the word together. You get to develop your gifts. There are great blessings and power when we worship together. We've received so many testimonies of breakthroughs in work, studies, and in healing too. Sign up through our Renewal Lutheran Church app or by scanning this QR code. You get to give. If you want to tithe or give an offering during this time, you can do an online transfer to our banks listed here. Alternatively, you can also make transfers via Do It Now by scanning this QR code. We will acknowledge receipt with a special Rama Bible text from Pastor. If you're passing offering to our office, do text our finance team. Broke the highest rental record. We got our condo vacant possession end of February 2020. But a couple of weeks later, the government announced MCO. Most of the property agents said that we set our rental too high. It was impossible. We chose to believe that with God, nothing is impossible. About three months after renovation, an expatriate saw our unit and said that our unit was exactly what he was looking for. He loved it. We rented it out exactly as per what we expected, breaking the highest rental record. It's all about his timing, glory to God. A big thank you to Pastor Joshua and Pastor Kerry for their Rema Holy Communion and Sunday sermons, Joyce Sweet Songs and the team behind the scenes, and also our lovely Zone Pastor, Elisha, and Care Group Leader for the prayers and encouragement. If you have any prayer requests, contact this number or send your requests by scanning this QR code. A Blaze Christmas Derby starts 5th of November. Race against other care groups to finish the most tasks and get the most points to win. How do I know he or she is the one? Young adults, come join us on 17th of November at 9pm. We'll be addressing commonly asked questions and also learn how to build better relationships with biblical principles. Follow us on Instagram at freshmana underscore oasis of care to get a fresh intake of the very word that speaks life and healing to our body and soul. Every church has a unique vision, trust of ministry and prophetic mandate. The seven churches in the book of Revelations each have unique messages and exhortations. The Kingdom Series is a unique and tailor-made course by School of Vibrant Growth in RLC that crystallizes the unique vision, 
trust of ministry and mandate given to RLC. It is biblical, Christ-centered and practical, covering every area of life, work and relationships. As you flow along with it, you experience the commanded blessings in Psalms 133 as well as the blessings of the unique mandates. Fountain Head Church, watering the dry valley of Arcasias as in 2 Kings 3 verse 17. Empowering entrepreneurs through fervent prayers of our intercessors, zone pastors and lead pastors. Center of Davidic Worship that is Christ and Grace-centered. Miracle Healing Place. Supernatural Restorations. Youth Revival impacting the next generation. And World Impact in Mission Partnership. Psalms 92 verse 13 Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. Sign up through the app or with your Zone Pastor now. We have special intercession prayer on Thursdays at 9pm. Get your whole family to join us and experience great breakthroughs. Here's what's happening this week. Care Groups and Intercessors Prayer Online Catch our Rama Holy Communion on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 10am. The links are available in the description box below. We also have Ablaze <coughs> To think of glory as something so dramatic, it is the very person of Christ. as a result of our faith in Jesus and ask God, what do you want me to be in the future? Jesus knows all about you and will always accept you and be there for you. Memorize the 30 short verses, get your parents to record either your voice or a video of you reciting 5 random verses. Then send your audio or video to your zone pastor. You'll be given a beautiful certificate after completing only 30 short verses. Hebrews 4 verse 12 His word is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword. Psalm 48 verse 9 Within your temple, O God, we meditate on your unfailing love. Proverbs 11 verse 25 He who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. One of the ways to refresh others is to serve. You can sign up now via our app. It's really simple. Go to our app, I Love to Serve, fill in your details and select where you'd like to be involved in. As special intercessors, you receive regular updates on what God is doing. You can also pray for your pastor and family 7 minutes a day as they have high responsibilities and they will need more prayers. You can also serve in various ministries such as being an actor for our video illustrations for Champs, energize a place, be in our multimedia team, be a transcriber, and more. I signed up as Pastor Joshua and Pastor Carrie's prayer partner a few years ago when I joined RLC. Since then, I have been praying 7 minutes a day for them in tongues. Despite only spending as little as 7 minutes a day, I see that my needs have been met supernaturally, sometimes even without me noticing. It's really a joy and privilege for me, keeping my shepherds in prayer. There are tremendous blessings in praying and serving. So, sign up now! Follow us on Instagram at Oasis of Care and Ablaze RLC.